The marketplace is filled with a wide variety of packs that you can choose from. You want a survival pack? We got them. You want a cute pack? We got them. But what about a PvP pack? We actually do. They're kind of bad. But as of recently, the marketplace has been filled with so many new packs and one of them popping all of these packs. And that is from Christ with this pack called Emmer PvP. But is it actually the best PvP pack we have on the marketplace? Only one way to find out. Alrighty boys, here we are using the pack for the first time. So this is going to be like my first impressions of this pack and right off the bat this guy is actually one of the most prettiest guys i've ever seen it reminds me of one of those kirby game boy games it doesn't look like your typical cloudy background and you can definitely tell there is a lot of thought put into that sky now me personally the sky is one of the most important things like if a sky looks good then it makes the whole pack look good if the sky looks pee pee poo poo then you know it's definitely way noticeable all right so this is gonna be our first pv battle here and well that was easier than dropping a like right now now a couple things i'm noticing right off the bat is first of all the crosshair is an X. So that's also a little bit different here. Why am I finding like the most strongest opponent in this lobby? Now, if you're watching this video, you probably watched Christ's video, which is probably one of the most popular bedrock videos at the moment. And one of the things that actually baffled me was the fact that if you want to make a pack and put it in the marketplace, you pretty much have to make all the blocks from scratch. You know how hard that is? Like, how do you make this block new? And that's probably one of the reasons why this pack took forever to make. Now, fun fact, I've actually been approached to make a pack myself. However, as many of you guys know, I've reviewed the packs. I don't necessarily make packs however that might change in the future now i just noticed that i'm not really as stacked as these other people so this is gonna be no way now something you notice from this okay this guy what is he doing from the armor itself is the helmet is actually like quite big look at this look at this look at this so this is the full diamond honestly this is probably one of christ's best armor designs he's done also those shoulders are like more of a darker blue to it i like how this guy's just staring at me like what is this guy doing just staring at this guy i mean this guy looks beautiful as well but you know all right here go boys it's me versus its server why would he name yourself it server i have no idea i named myself it's greg so yeah oh oh my gosh i didn't know the christ pack can give you combo wombles like this oh my sweet baby llama oh no oh gosh oh he used a book no not knowledge anything but the book of knowledge what the no you got so lucky actually lucky <laughs> you had a chance right there and you blew it. Alrighty boys, we're back with another game and this time I'm gonna point out other things that I didn't mention in the first game. For example, the heart and the health. The hearts are pretty much the same as like the armor. The health are these chubby golden apples with a lot of detail to it. Now if you watch Christ's video, one thing that, that he put a lot of effort to and that he was proud about was actually the UI itself. This pretty much, which I didn't realize how important this was for like a pack creator. And to him, he wanted it to look as unique and as good as possible. Oh hi, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? <gasps> this is bad. This is bad. I'm panicking. I just reversed Uno him. Also, I'm a big fan of Christ's like tools overall. First of all, this pickaxe is very, very nice. As well as the axe. This is quite a big axe. How am I carrying this? It looks heavy. The ores, in my opinion, are like more simple rather than like in your face, which I can definitely appreciate as well. Oh, sweet baby notch. This might be it. <laughs> Alrighty, boys. This time, I'm going to compare a marketplace PvP pack that's been known for a while now with Emmerich and see which one you guys prefer. Now, here we have PvP Bold Vanilla. I've reviewed this pack a couple times. It's a very well-known popular PvP pack, but is it better than Emmerich here? Oh, first things first. Let me combo the heck out of this guy. So, first thing first that I want to talk about is this guy. Now, this guy is quite bland. Pretty basic to your standard PvP pack. I thought it was going to fall there for a second. Now, comparing that to Christ, that, that is honestly a no-brainer there now something that i will give points to pvp bull vanilla is actually the ores because they're quite vibrant they look like they're animated which i haven't seen many pvp marketplace packs actually do so that's definitely a plus as for the breaking animation pvp bull vanilla uses the same animation that everyone does while emric is more basic and simplistic now both of these packs have like the same blue color bull vanilla is more of like a darker slash purple blue it while emric is more of like a baby blue so that's more of a preference thing <laughs> This guy fell. That's funny. Okay, then. As for the UI, it's red or blue. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Emric definitely wins that. And as for the blocks and stuff like this, yeah, Emric also wins that as well. Alrighty, boys, we're gonna do one more game to wrap this video off. But what do you guys think? How would you rate this pack? 1 out of 10. Be honest. I honestly give this pack a solid 9 out of 10. And my favorite thing about this pack is probably this guy and actually the crosshair as well. Now, we obviously, we have to wrap this video off by, like, getting a dub here, honestly. And if you guys want 
going to review another pack from the marketplace or just another pvp pack make sure to leave it down in the comment section down below let's see if we can kick some booty for this last game if we can then i'll be really sad here go 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 we got this we got this oh yeah also there might be a couple different sounds change from the original game if i'm not mistaken especially like the bridging oh my gosh it's pet bay not pet bay sayonara pet bay oh i feel bad for bullying whoa i'm getting my butt kicked right here psych Mm -hmm. Hey, we're finally level 73. I just need two more levels and we're finally complete Sky Warriors. <gasps> this feels like a trap. Oh, no. All right, come on, come on. He's a YT. He's a YT. Oof, that was close. This guy is AFK and uh, I don't know what his skin is, but I'm not even going to mention it. Is that it? Was that the last guy? <laughs> that was easy. And to wrap up this video, we're currently in a creative world. This is where I take my thumbnails, by the way. And I'm just going to look at all the blocks here. So pretty much all of these were individually changed to be original to its own pack, which to me, I, I find that very admirable so as you can see like right here all of this is quite different look at the ore look at the ores very very nice and honestly this guy is probably my favorite thing from this pack i don't know about you guys what do you guys think about this pack how would you rate it have you bought the pack do you think about buying this pack is it the best pvp pack in the marketplace so many questions that you guys have to answer in the comment section hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and you should definitely watch this video right here